This is Chef Puck's 23rd year cooking the food for the governor's ball, and he shows no signs of slowing down. Now, it wouldn't be a show without an after party, so after the Oscars, the guests party at the governor's ball. And it's all up to executive producer Cheryl Shaquetto to make it the talk of the town. She told Javier Rodriguez how to dazzle Hollywood's most treasured stars year after year. With the Oscars just around the corner, Cheryl Shaquetto is working hard to make sure this governor's ball is one to remember. I just want them to walk in the door and gasp and say, wow, I'm here celebrating the Oscar. We're going to see those Oscars move through the room. And shortly after they get through the room, they'll be engraved here. And I want them to feel like we've dressed the room not only with sights, but with sounds and food and energy and waiters, that they're at the governor's ball. Six months ago, Shaquetto and the governor's ball chair, Jeffrey Curlin, began searching for ideas for the big night. They found the inspiration for this year's ball from a photograph of a French pastry shop. It was a beautiful white pastry shop with these colored macaroons and Jeffrey loved the feeling of it. It felt clean and the environment was bright and wonderful. So it's this white palette with shots of gold and shots of red which are going to go through a sea of red so it's very transformational and we're calling it a magical transformational evening. Shaquetto said every year she brings something new to the table and this year is no exception. The look is completely different, the entertainment is different. We always try to shake it up with the menu knowing that there's a lot of good favorites with um, Wolfgang Puck. Of course, your movies are different, so your guests are different. Shaquetto said if you're at the ball, you've earned it. She wants her guests to leave their stresses at the door and to have a spectacular night. Here all bets are off. We're going to be eating those Kobe beef bur burgers and those uh, tuna cones and the macaroni and cheese loaded with black truffles and we're going to enjoy it. We're going to celebrate. This event takes place once a year. So with that being said, I hope everyone really takes advantage of that three hours. Shaquetta wants the governors and the stars to end their glamorous night on a high note. And as the film directors here say, that's a wrap for WEBN's special Oscars presentation behind the scenes in Hollywood. We want to congratulate all who make the silver screen so memorable. Please check out our continuing coverage on our websites, webn.tv and webnontheredcarpet.com. We now leave you with the names of everyone who made this program possible. I'm Shayna Ferreira. And I'm Angelina Salcido. We will see you right here in Hollywood next year. Thank you for watching.